All right. Um, well, fucking intro. Just go ahead and yeah, uh, who are you and what do you yeah, do? Yeah, we could we could do a simple. Yeah. Um. I, first of all, I like your your setup. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Uh, if I feel like I'm uh, at a financial firm. <laughs> You know, but I put I, I all the one. things I have to no, hang up in one normally, spot. Normally, they would have like uh, the Wall Street Journal. Yeah. And you have Coinbase. Yeah, yeah, no, right it's there. The new, the new, the new, like. So people is... can see in the description when the video was made, and while they're seeing that, they can see how much Bitcoin was worth at the same time. It was kind of the concept yeah, of the idea. That, that was great. That was great. But before we even go on on anything, I just want to. Uh, mm. Well, introduce yourself. They know who I am. Who are you? I'm. Luciano, Luciano Valdez. All right, man, what do you do? I own a few businesses online. Okay. What do you? What are they about? You want to get into some details? Yeah. You feel free to plug them. What do they do? What do you do? Yeah, yeah, like uh, right here in the tri-state area, we do um, all, all type of household appliances, whatever you need. Oh, shit? Yes. Except yes. Bitcoin, by any chance? Of course. Awesome. I'm the one running. Okay, okay. So, I just wanted to make sure. I don't yes. want to assume. Yes, yes, yes. That's awesome. What, what uh, point of sales do you use? What medium do you use to accept the Bitcoin? We just use direct. Direct wallet yes, to wallet? Because okay. because everything is... Uh, Everything is just free, open market. Right, basically. I like how like that is. A lot of people say like, uh, you know, get rid of the middleman with Bitcoin, and I always find a middleman there. But if you're peer to peer, wallet to wallet, there's yeah. no middleman. There's no yes. you know medium b between you and your customer. So I like how you keep it straight, peer to peer. Absolutely, absolutely. And this is this is the great thing about having Bitcoin anywhere in the world. I know Bitcoin's amazing. How did you get into Bitcoin? Uh. I used to work at a financial firm, and uh, during the during the times that um, Greece was going through their financial trouble. Okay, uh, when I, was that? I haven't been following money. Uh, like 2015. Okay, yeah, I think I remember uh, Andreas yeah, talking about that yeah, in one of his videos. Late 2014 and 15, around that area. I just remember that. I heard that a bunch of people were like jumping into Bitcoin and stuff, and then I, I, I thought it was like uh, some internet, just like everybody, so right? Some internet money. It was cool, but but you saw a whole like I nation it, using it. I thought it. this guy Satoshi owned it all. So oh, okay. It was a the right? Yeah, the total. Story. Like I don't. Yeah, exactly. When I saw Bitcoin, I was like, I don't get it. There's like this whole. Ununderstandable filter to it. You have to kind of really want to know what Bitcoin is to get the yes. understanding. Yes. Yes. And, and but what then, made you want to understand Bitcoin? Like you said it wasn't because, easy. It was be, kind of well off because way. for me the 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 appealing was families running it into Bitcoin for financial protection. That was appealing to me because I grew up in Venezuela. Oh, wow. Yeah, you see what's happening there now. And, uh, yes. So I told I told my friends, and I've been telling people for about two years, you know, uh, about Bitcoin after finding out, because I knew exactly what is happening right now. I understood it was going to go faster. And right. Venezuela going to uh, adapt to it faster. And, uh, you know, I used to tell some of my friends and just people like you, that understood Bitcoin a little bit, and they say, "No, dude, but we wait. It's it's gonna that is gonna happen, but what way, way later? Right, years like 2020, 2050, I, yes. years, years from now. People said, are, don't have that. And I said to them, sight. "No, Happy New Year." I said to them, "It's gonna take months." Right, and that's exactly what happened. Now oh, this year, yeah, in Venezuela at least, right? Right. So the. The adoption, I'm saying, is happening quick because you really need it there for, for, to save your life. Right. I love your passion, man. You know, you really need it there. So, um, naturally, the first people that are gonna uh, use it and demand and request it now the most is them. So now they even jumping into companies that. I told my friends, look, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get to Venezuela that people are, are not going to want dollars. They're going to want Bitcoin. Yeah, and that's what's happening. And that that point is what they say was going to take years. And I said, no, it's going to come in months. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, 
the search for Bitcoin is growing faster. Four hundred and fifteen percent, man. Right, and, that is and imagine awesome. what it's gonna do. You know, so they're gonna get to total adoption way faster than way in America. Well, that's because they need it. We don't necessarily need. We could use it. It would be nice, but we don't need it. They need it. But this is this is what I wanted before I even we jump into all the uh, topics that we got for you. Uh, I wanted to to rant on on americans <laughs> go for it americans need it listen up america look if you don't understand bitcoin i understand that because it's not something that you may not just uh, uh understand in a, in a few hours but this is about value and this is where value is going right mm -hmm. but it you know People say, oh, I don't have time for that. But they, they have time to, to watch sport, know. know about music, know about everything else that we know here, which is great. I know and, exactly what you but, mean. But I'm saying, dedicate America, dedicate a little bit of time to these tools, these new tools. Human beings are only as good as our abilities to use tools. I've been trying to compare money to a hammer forever since I got into Bitcoin. You know, if, if you don't know how to use money like a tool, like you don't know how to use a hammer, I could give you a hammer. That doesn't necessarily mean you could build me a house. I give yeah. you a shit ton of money. That doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be able to keep property, keep a house, maintain the mortgage. If you don't know how to use the money, there's no point to having it. And that's why most lottery winners don't have all their lottery funds at the end of their first year because they don't yeah. know nothing about how money works and they end up losing it all. Well, you know, and, and this is why... It's somewhere in the third world in, in the third world countries they're gonna understand this because what are they gonna use the best tool mm -hmm. so what is the best tool and I understand the dollar look when I lived there the dollar was the best tool that's why people held dollars whoever was a little bit smart in Venezuela held dollars even though Bolivar was around in the streets People that actually was holding to value were held dollars because they know. It wasn't it Venezuela who just started their little mini war on paper money. There were the ones I believe who had like uh, five times more one hundred dollar bills than like five dollar bills in their economy. Was that Venezuela? I'm not sure, but I mean, every trick in the in the in the hat they they've done it over there because trying uh, to yeah pick you know up. the 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 whole thing which I don't want to jump into the whole hyperinflation stuff that you know when you have like totalitarian authorities to dictate all the money policy of a country that's that's what you could do right and and government they not good at doing anything nah uh, well uh let's segue into a little bit about um how do, how do you earn bitcoin like do you buy it curate it how do you how do you get you know, your the, bitcoin the one thing uh me and you understood from this time was been speaking is the difference between buying and earning. You right. know, there's a big difference. And uh, this is another thing, guys. If you earn and hold your keys, is your Bitcoin. Yeah. If you don't hold your keys... It's not your Bitcoin. I got my Ledger wallet somewhere. I yeah, think I hit I it. And little, it's somewhere put little, away. That, that little, little Ledger. From, I love that I thing. I love that little chan from Antonopolis. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not your keys, but, not your Bitcoin. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So, it's but it's, it's a simple concept. But, yeah, I mean, because it's easy for us to to buy Bitcoin, you know, and mm -hmm. not hold our keys. And probably we should... If you don't know how to hold your keys, that's why yeah. that's why it's dangerous. And that's why a lot of people don't want to get into Bitcoin. It does take yeah. It takes dedication to learn. You have to want to understand money. You have to want to make money. You have to want to earn and hold value. You want to you have to want to store money somewhere. You want to you have to want to know all these things in order to know these things because they're not they're not fun to learn. It's not like, you know, I'm hoping I can make it entertaining, but it's not like there's people out there making it entertaining. So if people don't want yeah. to do that stuff, they don't do that. have to double down for sure. And yeah. make it fun. Make it cool. Make, make it, it fun. You know, make, make it, it entertaining. Cool. Yes. Yes. But like, you know, that's that's not easy for a lot of people to get into. And it's, like me, I didn't care about money all my life until maybe... I was, you know, a year ago, right before I got into Bitcoin, I was just starting to look at how I could invest my money in, you know, stock markets and buy stuff. And I was looking online and apps. And I was like, yo, 
I could use an app to get like stocks and uh, do bonds and make a portfolio and buy silver, buy gold. And then I was, you know, looking at different ways to save money and I was just typing in, how do I make money saving money? And it was like, well, the return on investment over time in Bitcoin, I was like, oh, let's see what Bitcoin is. And then from there, I started watching all those videos, like what is Bitcoin and I started listening to um, the Bitcoin podcast and I got their episode with Andreas Antonopoulos. And yes. then from there, I just looked up Andreas Antonopoulos and just a week, yes. a week yes, of can. all of his material. Of course, that's what everybody should do. Yeah, pretty actually. much. Go to the if, school of Andreas uh, and yes. come out with your yeah, degree. Go, go there if you don't know anything about Bitcoin so you can stay in a, some... It some, makes it really easy to understand, but... It's so not entertaining. He's just like, here's the facts. And, you know, you get vanilla facts, which is easy to absorb if you want the knowledge. But if you're looking for some, like, sound effects and flashy things and something to keep your attention for, you know, more than 10 seconds because that's the social media mentality anymore, yeah. it's most likely not going to be there. But all the information that you will ever need yeah. is on Andreas's YouTube but, channel. But seriously, you know, going back to what you're saying, um, uh, you wanted to make money my rant really is for for americans that are the primary household production product producer of the household the problem is 69 percent no, of americans in, don't it, have a thousand dollars in savings that's so the it's reality. hard to start a savings that's the reality but now there's ways to produce bitcoin the way you yes do exactly with the videos and the articles you're right no but even and that's what we're gonna jump into RK City. Uh, yeah. The, the great. Two, the, what the hell the is best. Arcade City though? We're, like, gonna, we're gonna go into all that, you know. But before, I want to say, if you think Bitcoin is too difficult, yeah, it's not. It's not. Nothing. Is. I mean, like I've been telling, trying to explain it to my friends like this. Like, if you spent the amount of time playing Guitar Hero. As you do looking up Bitcoin or money or investments or anything else, you'll be you'll be on expert level on Bitcoin too. You know what I mean? Like I can't play guitar here on expert level. Did put my time there, but I'm getting pretty good with Bitcoin, and that that is where I'm putting my time. And that's what like you're saying. If you put your time there, you'll get it. Any like anything else, you want to play the piano, play it for a year. You'll be a whole lot better the next the last day than you were the first day. If you start looking up Bitcoin today. You'll, hold, you'll know a lot more about it next year than you did the first day. Yeah, because, and why? Because it's, it's the better tool. Dude. N n yes. Hey, we're going to be a witness. It's going to catch up. We're yeah, gonna we're going to be a witness. Where we see it for $1,000, guys. I'm, Yo, I'm it's hoping. happening. I didn't it's mean to cut you off. No, but no, wow. no, that's great. I'm glad that, it, you know what? I'm glad that this is happening now. Yo, I feel, yeah, me and uh, Ryan were sitting here yeah. watching it do the same yes. thing, not to jinx it. But yes. we were watching it do the same hey, thing. We we in America. It's been a thousand dollars. Just like the New Year's. Everywhere else. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been a thousand it's everywhere been, else. It'll catch up. Yes. But um yeah, uh, um now you we we wanna know what was RK C D. Um Yeah, I've been hearing a lot is, about the, it on the, the swarm, it's not yeah, the swarm, 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 swarm dot city, city, right? Swarm, swarm dot city. city. Yeah, the swarm city, the swarm dot city is this is the same thing, okay? Is this is the same people, but something happened that they had to change the name. They call it name a uh, branding fork. <laughs> That's pretty. Uh, yeah, I like how they For did the that. Brand. Right, I like that double entendre there. Hey, oh shit, dude, we did it. Bitcoin 2017. This is what the first day in 2017, and it did it. Yeah. Straight zeros across the board. Now it's going to be interesting to see what those bots do on hey, the trading I got, exchanges. I I, I I got a I got a Bitcoin song. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a single. Is that yours? Yeah, you saw the. Uh, do you mind if I put it at the end of this video? Absolutely. I'll... Yo, stay tuned to the end of the video. We're gonna do the song. I got this black guy that's gonna do it. Oh shit. Yeah. He's my cousin, though. Okay. So I can, I can, I can, it's okay, right? <laughs> Look, it's going to be good. It's not a white guy. It's, this guy has no, rhythm hey, and soul. So what? <laughs> the whole thing is Bitcoin is for the world, right? It is, dude. Yo, and you it, know, no, this it's is the thing. literally this is the for the world. That's about, the point of it. I, I, you know, before we jump into the, the swarms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do want to get wanna, in there. I want to say this to America. Look, the mighty dollar, American dollar, good instrument. It's been for like 
more than 70 years. Yeah. But now something better is here. And I don't I don't want America to fall back because America's been back before, like behind before. Like I remember like simple stuff like uh what's up? Oh yeah. What's up uh was used everywhere except in America because of oh, what's WhatsApp, just, I think. What's up? Yeah, my my accent, gotcha. whatever. But um uh, the uh, the 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 point is is that we never used to hear before because we had all this all the mediums mm-hmm. and then when it came okay no big deal yeah once Americans find something they like they kind of get comfortable look how yeah. long we stayed in MySpace <laughs> yeah so um, you know and then uh, you know the, you you had what's up this local global community that was doing a lot of free stuff from before mm-hmm. free free the, the whole thing is the free so yeah not quite almost free. Oh, very cheaply, right? But uh, when that happens to money, you cannot just jump. You know, when 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 you fall behind them in mo- in value, you cannot just jump. Right. You're gonna have to restart. Yeah, it's a struggle. So you understand? Well, yeah, like well, we've what I'm been saying, through this. You know, we're like the silver notes. You know, where every state had their own dollar. And you know, it was really weird when the whole country had one note that went, like, from end to coast to coast. They're like, wait, one note works in PA and New Jersey? That's weird. Like, that was weird for some people. At one point in time, they were used to having money for New Jersey and money for Pennsylvania. Separate monies. Yeah. And now, you know, they came. somebody came up and was like, no, one bill will work all these states. Yes. And they were like, so that's, that's so what... mind-blowingly weird. Yeah. You know, this is just that next transaction. Like you said, it's only been, what, 70 years or so? Yeah. It's time for that... another ev- evolution. If yeah. we don't evolve, breaking, breaking we will be left behind. There you go. We evolved. We took, how that? long did we take to get those chips on those credit cards? Everybody had those chips. Those, like, insert chips. The I think they're uh-huh. RFID. Yes. We were, like, the last first world country to get those. Yes. You know, yes. we're, we are behind. We, we are, we behind. are comfortably behind. We are com. I like that. Thanks, man. Yeah, that's, that's I bet it is though. I see people are just like so comfortable being, you know, in 1990. Like I see so many people still living in the past and I'm sitting here like, you know, like everything's on this thing, right? Like this, this isn't just a phone because we call it a smartphone. This is yeah. everything you need. Computer, TV, f- wallet, bank, everything. It's just waiting for it to catch up. When we first got cell phones, that's it. Phone call, text message. Now we can watch movies. We can send videos. We can exchange money peer to peer. I could get something from you. Like, so it just takes forever for people to get used to those changes. And it's usually the nerds that get into it first. And that's kind of what makes it not cool. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, look at that nerd with the beeper. You know, it's me. And then it's like, look at the nerd with the giant cell phone. And yeah. it was always the nerds that funded all of these things. So like what, what, and what, you know, what's great being a nerd in 2016 was cool. And hopefully yes. that fad keeps yes. up in 2017 being in the tech, being into, you know, drones and, and making apps and coding you know, Bitcoin, all these things were cool. It was cool to be a nerd. And hopefully more people see it that way yes. and it keeps picking up that, that traction because what we need is what we, we need kids to see it's cool to be in the science and technology and coding. Because oh, it's going to be better. about 90% of the kids, everything. The kids, they know better. They know better than us. They, oh, their you're mind right. hasn't been... So they, they, they see it right away, actually. Yeah, because they're not set in that way. Yeah, you that tell way. a kid right now, a, do- a dollar or this money that can fly everywhere around the yeah, world. Yeah, you know how hard it is to email a dollar? Here, here's a dollar bill. Send it to your no, friend. No, and then they your can't. bank, <laughs> and then your bank has to... Uh, well, you can accept whatever you want to do. Oh yeah, you know. So. I just had a bank. My banks transferred um, majority banks or whatever they yeah. call it. Like I use yeah. an online bank. Yeah. And they just switched partner banks is what they called it. Yeah. And I had to email them and ask them like, hey, can I still do my Bitcoin transactions with your bank because mm-hmm. you transferred partners? Mm-hmm. Are they? And they, you know, my bank simple, simple bank. And they said, yeah, Bitcoin, they're totally going to accept it and stuff like that. Why wouldn't they? You know, I'm like, all right, well, there are banks out there that if you're buying and selling Bitcoin with your bank account, they're going to freeze your account and your money's not your money anymore. You can fight for it. But in that terms and agreements that you signed for that bank, the moment you started using it for Bitcoin, which they deemed illegal or whatever, you lose your money because you signed away saying, all right, I agree to give you all my money if I break these terms. You broke their terms. You, they saw you selling Bitcoin and accepting cash for it. 
There goes all your money in that bank. So it is a good idea to definitely speak to your bank and see if you can actually use it. You know, because some banks are afraid of it because it's making money move easier, faster, better. Like, look at Western Union. If they had any say in what Bitcoin could do, yeah. I'm sure they would go the route of the Pony Express and start pitchforking yeah. Bitcoin like they did automobile yeah, industry. Bitcoin didn't ask permission to anyone. It doesn't need permission world, either. That's the, the best part to, about to being decentralized it, right? and peer-to-peer. -peer. So the, in the basics, you know, is the freedom part that we attract. That's what, yeah, the freedom so. and ease of use. The fact that I can send you Bitcoin like a yeah. text message or an email or anywhere around the world, yeah. that is amazing. The, yeah, and then it op opened up uh, this... Well, Can commerce in general, because like I don't want to give you my credit card information, my first name, last name, all this information just to buy something from you off of Amazon. You know what I'm saying? I could just send you some Bitcoin. And that's what that's what people will go like. through an escrow service yeah. for 0.5% each, 1% altogether, go through an escrow service and I could have all my stuff sent to me immediately. You get paid and everything's good. Like money just doesn't work like that yet. I mean, well, the US dollar, the government currency doesn't work like that yet, but Bitcoin is money. So money does work like that. Yeah, and this this is the thing for pe for people that don't know this about Bitcoin y yet, you know, like, uh, and they still in doubt. Yeah, a lot of people There's that people watch are new, so explain they, to them. They, you know, uh, they still in doubt. You know, they see a thousand dollars. I know they're like they, that's they, too high. Yeah, if I'll still, wait till it comes down. I hear that a lot. It, no, and and if you still in doubt, just think about like uh, all this major. Fortune 500 type of companies, they all jumping into this new industry. All the oh, government yeah. around the world, all the central banks, all the big um, insurance company are using this. No, you're and right. you st and, and you <laughs> here, you still they're believe investing that. a lot of time. No, and money my point is, you still gonna believe that your dollar is gonna be a better tool than this? No, it's not because. You know, now a kid in a third world country can wipe your windows and instead of handing his hand inside of, you, inside of your car, now he can flip his RQ code and ask you for for money, right? And, it's, and, and he will have the same money that a banker in London has because they know about Bitcoin. You know, right. they have Bitcoin. They have the same money. And yeah, that's, they have the same that, 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 yeah. That, that, yeah, that is what's powerful about Bitcoin. Yeah, you don't, I'm, that's, a, yeah, like you're right, with banking and stuff, usually you have to have, you know, and it's, I'll start with being homeless and ha not having an ID mm -hmm. is impossible to get a job because first thing on the application is where do you live? You know what I mean? So if you're homeless and you have no identification, you can't get a job to get the money to get your identification. And then now you can't get a bank account. And then your money, if you say you are homeless, the only your money that you have is in your pocket. You're living on the street. That's not a safe place to keep your money, but yeah. you can't get a bank account because you can't get a job because you don't have a place to live because you don't have an ID. It's just a vicious circle. Bitcoin takes that circle and just stretches it into a line. You know yes. what I mean? It's like, oh, now you can put your value somewhere safe, store yes. it for a while, yes. get that value up, go get your ID. Once yes. you got your ID, go get a place, go get your you know, residence somewhere. Then you can go get a job. And you know, I feel like you're right. Like Bitcoin has a domino effect to it that once people see the the actual ability it, it, it gives them or the freedom that it produces, they're going to jump on it because there's a lot of people out there that are unbanked still in America. There's people yes. out there that don't have IDs still in America and there's a lot of people who don't have homes. Yeah, so now you want to know my advice for America, the best way to earn Bitcoin, the easiest, best application to earn Bitcoin is Swarm City. Well, tell them what Swarm City is. Okay, so basically, now we have this share economy that is available to us. So there's all this Uber and Airbnb type companies now just got decentralized. So it's Uber without the Uber. What is Swarm City? Uber without the Uber or uh, Airbnb without the Airbnb and then much more, you know? So... I mean, look. Well, if there's no ooh, like if there's no centralization to Swarm City, then how do I curate a ride and how do you get a like how do you say, "Hey, I'm a business that produces rides and I'm a person who needs rides." How do we get in touch with each other if there's no like center station, center, you know, centralization? Yes. Yeah, so, there there was a token sale 
uh, that happened that ended in uh, September 29th, right? So those fun that was uh, that was uh, uh, accumulated during during the token sale during during the ICO um, were meant to be to fund uh, the development of the application. Yeah, so it was like forty something thousand, right? An application thousand, right? that will be similar to like an Uber type application that mm-hmm. would handle a request and. Um, so basically, they go funded me the centralization platform for it. So like yeah. everybody contributed to this centralization platform that wasn't really centralized because it was a decentralized yeah. building. Yeah, I like it. Yes, yes, yes. So. Um, all this chains, right? All this chains, like Bitcoin blockchain, the Bitcoin blockchain, uh, Ethereum, you know about Ethereum, right? Yeah, right? I love Ethereum. Uh, let's say Monero, Zcash, all of these chains, they own by the participants. Right, exactly. Whoever, the peers who are involved. So you own Bitcoin, right? Yeah. So you own the network, you own, you own the payment system. I own you some own space the, of you, it, yeah. Yes, whatever you have invested. Right. The guy in China with a big building, he owns a lot of Bitcoin because he got a lot of investment. He in. has a lot of value. Yeah, he has a lot yeah. more value than I do. So this is the same thing again and again. Look, not by me. All the major scientists told you that we're going to decentralize everything. This is happening fast. But how do you make money on Swarm City? So, uh, going back to or Swarm City. Or earn Bitcoin, so, I should say. Uh, yeah, to going back to Swarm City is uh, why it is the best application. Because, like, me and you know, there's a lot of struggling people that um, may not even have a computer may but may have a cell phone right yeah exactly even in america yeah for sure for sure in the third world countries but even in america right yeah i mean yeah you don't really need a computer if you have one of yeah. these awesome smartphones yeah or, or even a simple phone right yeah and now do um, a um you can do some uber type service and now you can request bitcoin for it and let me tell you i'm not a driver but if you pay me Bitcoin, I, I'll take you, I'll take you on an on an expedition. Look, why Swarm City is so amazing? The the whole concept, okay? It's so amazing because right now it it can offer you something that Uber cannot offer you. Mm. Or what is that though? Hold, hold on. Or Airbnb cannot offer you. Is freedom. For you to transact with whoever you want, right? Because no one's services, taking off the top, or for your or for your property, right? Because Uber takes off the top, Airbnb takes their cut, but Swarm City is just it's between you and you, one hundred percent. Yes, yes. All so right. right now, the way is organized. You know, um, look, uh, I I want to say something. Uh, the 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 visionary creator of all this, you know, this there's gonna be a. Uh, uh, more and more guys coming out with tools and ideas for tools that are going to get developed, right? Mm-hmm. So we have Bitcoin, which was like uh, only a paper on reposit- uh, internet repository. And today we are transacting mm-hmm. like t- like 200 <laughs> millions of dollars a, a, a day. Oh, so yeah, the volume on it. Yeah, volume yeah. every day, the 24 hours, something like that. Mm-hmm. Whatever, 16 billion yeah, 15, all, 16 billion market cap. My point is, everything was just a bunch of papers. Right. Up before it... it sta- I, yeah, exactly. It starts with just an idea, picks up. So, um, the 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 original uh, project, RK City, mm-hmm. uh, was dreamed and, and put into force upon this guy, uh, Christopher Davis. He kind of looks like you. Yo, you're not the first person that said that. Somebody asked me are if you, I was him at the yeah. meetup. They were like, yo, are you the dude? I'm like, no, I'm not him. I, I should have said yes and saw what happened. Like, you're not setting me up. For no, no. Yeah, I grew the beard. I grew the beard. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Uh, well, anyway, look, this guy, he didn't only have the vision, but he had the balls to believe that he can do an app that would rival Uber. I know, that is ballsy. 
Come for on. sure. Okay. The taxi wow, company wow, didn't even think wow, they could do yeah, that. By, wow, yeah, like <laughs> big taxi Yellow cabs with, did with not big, even think they could do that. Budgets and right. stuff. So, so he, he stepped up to the plate and was like, yo, he saw an opening and he took opportunity. He took it. And, you and know, the same way and then, he took this opportunity, the same way Netflix took the opportunity that Blockbuster did. And, you know, he, maybe Uber should have started accepting Bitcoin. Maybe Uber should do, but they won't because where are they going to get their cut? So I see he saw an they opening can, and evolved above Uber, them. Uber, listen, Uber is not a blockchain company. No, not at all. So, they want to make their money. So they cannot just do um, uh, whatever they want. They have to follow. Oh, yeah. They have their shareholders. They have their, yeah, yeah they have a lot of people. So they, they have, have to, go to ask yes. and request. Look, uh, one thing about about um, when I saw, when I started learning about Vitalik is like, you know, when he was explaining Ethereum, it's like when all this decentralized uh, application um, start developing, they don't even need to ask for permission to be transacting, you know? So um, this is not a US thing. We, we gonna follow all the laws and all the insurance laws and transit laws, mm -hmm. uh, the the way everything is designed uh, to follow, but they not really gonna ask permission to any one entity or go government in the world. It's just participants are gonna come in voluntarily all right. over the world. Yep. So all these communities, all these chains are is people on the cloud. We moved into the cloud. You said it, we evolve in money. We evolve in... Yeah. So the whole thing, uh, the, the Christopher Davis thing for the city part is that, is building a city on the cloud, right? So all your requests of a city will start happening there. So essentially, RK City um, was dreamed to be a, a, a DAO, a DAO. A decentralized, decentralized application autonomous yeah autonomous okay. organization there you go totally right. forgot what that was what was yeah, that yeah no no <laughs> uh yeah i forget it all the time uh, decentralized autonomous organization right word i remember the dell and that's where i got that all from so yeah, yeah which um i participated and follow it closely you know so that's why that's why i'm very excited people don't people don't get it like these things are happening fast like i have this little um like I got my own little theory that I came out with. No, it's not true because it's only. It's a perspective theory. is everything. Exactly. So What's your perspective? One, one regular three hundred sixty-five day year mm -hmm. is equal to like four crypto years. Because, look, if you take if you take into consideration like the acceleration that this global things are. Uh, are taking so like you have now. like a Moore's law of Bitcoin? Yes. So in in all the decentralized application is gonna start happening. So like every three months, four years of like evolution takes place. Yeah. I was just talking to Ryan about like how it feels like every month is a year almost at least in yeah, information. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. and in and in uh in uh you know like not to keep using the word too much but evolution of it you know like the uh, things that keep happening in the blockchain in Bitcoin's blockchain space all these new dApps that are being brought up, you know, and, and Segwit and all these other things that are just being talked about. It's amazing you know, tools. And, you know, if anybody's still doubting Bitcoin, you know, the, the people developing... <laughs> it's like, are they really? Go ahead, doubt well, it, I guess. Well, it, yeah, the price, okay, great. Mm -hmm. You know, right, like, exactly. that's the initial attraction. Yeah, exactly. The price. Yeah. Those, those are the what lights. it can do for the physical... Like mm -hmm. Arcade City. The, yeah. That's what I mean when I say Bitcoin's going to change the physical world, like Matrix style, is with Arcade City. Arcade City took Bitcoin's blockchain, made a decentralized platform for ride sharing, and physically changed our world with Bitcoin. That's how Bitcoin's going to change you know, the physical world. Do you know what Arcade City, Swarm City, Swarm, Swarm City, City, yes, Swarm has, dot City, yes. They they have they they not the most funded project. They not the most flashy project out there yet. They not the project that's making the most noise yet. But they have an incredible human capital invested. So the investment oh, is that, yeah, the community is tight. I peek into some of those, those groups and it's, it's yeah. very broad. It's, it's a very global 
community all over the, yeah, the world uh, that is, you know, not only developing, but actually like human contact, human helping human produce. Right. That's what it's all about. Yeah, take the corporations out of it. We can yes. help each other. Yes. Right. So they go, the um, Swarm City um, is, uh, this. you can find everything about it on, on the Facebook channels. Uh, which is one of your Facebook channels for Swarm City? Look, I'm going, because, you know, because the name is recent, I don't know it by heart. I know, they we just changed so everything, we change, yeah. We're changing everything, I don't want to I can put out. it up uh, yeah, later we'll in the editing. Yeah, put it up, I don't want to give out, like, uh, the wrong yeah. information. It'll be up here, edited, cool ready, right here. I have, Ooh. I have. <laughs> Yeah, I have all the... All, uh, but um, it is getting there. Look. I want to start to wrap it up a little bit. And I uh, just wanted to ask you a couple questions on the way out, though. Yes. Um, how, how do you use Bitcoin, personally? Like, how do you use it? Do you use it as a money, as a storage of value, as an investment, uh, technology? How, how do you use Bitcoin? Like, what does it mean to you? What do you do with it? Well, um, Like, how does it serve a purpose to you? You know, every, every human is going to have its purpose for their money mm -hmm. and their value. That's why I find this to be a great question. But, it's different people. But it's, it's going to be uh, depending on what you want to do. You know, I, 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 I've been blessed to, to uh, visit and live, actually lived in different parts of the world. So I understand uh, just the mobility just the mobility of Bitcoin is amazing. Essentially, you can memorize some yeah brain wallet, right? Yeah, yeah, and and then transfer all your money to your brain. Yeah, that is the coolest and part about Bitcoin, in my it opinion. Into, into your phone or whatever. Yeah, I don't. So you, you would know. just you say you use Bitcoin as money. That's just liquid. You can move anywhere with it. It goes anywhere you want to use it. It's just free money, freedom, money, freedom. It's freedom. That's the key. It's it is freedom. It's, yeah. it's freedom. That's the key. If, and and if you look at is you know, if freedom and and have it and being able, but you have to be able to protect that freedom. And, and Bitcoin is that tool. Yeah, it gives you the the tool to. Well, yeah. If you it. control the money, you control the people. I can't. Yes. Who said that? Oh, that is a perfect famous quote. Someone's gonna kill me for it in the comments. Ah, I know the name. But look, before Churchill, church something, Churchill. Mm -hmm. Ah, whatever. Anyway, yeah. before before um before we wrap it up, I want to say um, look up the hive, the hive on Facebook. Yeah, I'll put everything. It'll be um, in the, the descriptions below and everything okay, like that. The Swarm City. Yep, Swarm dot City. Yeah. Yeah, and you're gonna see the hive. This is this is what it looks like. Okay. And from there, you'll see all the information. Um, you um, need to now the reason why i'm saying is because this can help somebody today yeah right now. i know anybody who right, has a car who right wants now. to make some profit off of doing a job to, doing a job you can do a service you can do uh you can you, know, yeah, you can help people move i need a minivan yeah you know, help me get my pool table i got a minivan i ain't doing shit today let me go make 20 bucks you know what i mean yeah. like, that's what i like about the yes. whole concept of that it's yes. it's like shooting up a smoke signal or a road flare and somebody just goes I can help you. You know what I mean? That's kind yes. of how I see Swarm City is like, yes. it's like I can th show out, I can throw out an SOS. I need a ride. And yes. somebody can just be like, I got you. And you yeah. know, then you work it out on the way between. You're like, well, this is what I'm working with. Like, hey, look, I got you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's, it's just between us. We don't have to worry about a middleman. So we can and, work And the this great out. thing I can tell you is, was, you know, what was, was it happened with, with the name switch was because, um, I like I like the new name better. Not yeah, the, a lot yeah. of people like the new name, you know, and and um, and it makes and sense. Look, and and yeah, and you know what? Arcade the, City was crypto, confusing. The, I feel like all the crypto has re renamed their token mm -hmm. and when they mature, know. when they mature, and well, this is showing that Arcade City, you know, Swarm City has matured. Yes. They're this is their tadpole into a newt, into a frog, into you know, they're, they're just moving up that evolutionary ladder, becoming a a more organized, decentralized community it's yes. pretty interesting to say stuff like that and, and that's where i was going with the name switch it came from that from that point uh, specifically because um initially uh rk city was registered and in, in such a way that it belonged to 
someone it was like it was registered on the, under a name right and then um it wasn't going to be able to be translated into a true decentralized application well, you, from that from that from that legality point well what do you think the future of swarm city is like a near future like you know we're talking three five years what do you think the near future is of swarm city the near future this is like your opinion the um the the leader now of the of the hive you could say you know um bernard he just released a a letter with the um with some of the timelines for the next few months you know uh because on every lounge of all this chain there's going to be timeline that they hope to achieve you mm -hmm. know um which includes um a beta section where they take they have some like really cool developers working on the app um they're gonna have a a a, a beta period that they're gonna test that and then it's gonna move into into a release you know mm -hmm. um and um every all the information is available do you see it competing with Uber quickly, or do you see it being something that's just, you know, in the background, not not mainstream, but still serving its purpose? Or do you see it becoming mainstream, like Uber? Like, the term Uber is used household-wide. You think our or Swarm City will yeah, become Uber like that? Uber is like uh, Google, right? Like, you say yeah. Google, or you say... You say Uber Kleenex, now. people think tissue. Yeah, yes. it's got a branding, yes. Yes. yeah. Um, I think our case city will be um, that application i think swarm city i keep confusing it's still, it's still today it's still, today still, today's like the name yes, change yes, day so yes, be be uh yes. be kind to us so, <laughs> yes please um swarm city will be the application that will make crypto m mainstream the whole crypto community is gonna start because RK City gives the ability to simple people to use it and to interchange value within crypto sort with, of, without without almost any uh, knowledge about crypto technology. Right, right, exactly. So, That's what makes it important that it's in the background a little bit. And it's yes. still a functioning tool that you can yeah, use. Yeah, so essentially, a driver can just turn it on, get a call, and uh, just earn some money. Right. And, you know, he, he and the passengers, they both have the freedom to request. It, and they would agree upon on how they want to transact. Right, as I was just thinking about this, you know, it sucks that Circle Pay just got away from Bitcoin. Yes. Yes. I wonder who's going to pick up that slack. But to f kind of fill in that... It would make sense to me because, like, the that Bitcoin shirt that I have right there, you know yes. what I mean? If you hey, we're gonna put that in on the video. Okay. All right, but like, if you for, send, for, for if the you song for the song. Oh, for the song. We we gonna do, oh okay. Gonna, uh, you could be the model. Or put some some hot chick. <laughs> yeah. Hey, babe. But like, um, if you send Bitcoin to my shirt, even it yes. goes right to my debit card, my shift payments debit card. There so like go. if I'm your if you're my driver or if I'm your driver say for the sake of the conversation so I'm driving you you can just send Bitcoin to my shirt and then that money instantly goes through my debit card I can go get gas dude if somebody that is amazing through their through their screen they can pay you yeah that's true yeah exactly yeah. exactly so that, that's 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 amazing that's um great. one last wrap up question mm -hmm. um in your opinion how is Bitcoin better than fiat. Like how, or should I say, I, how is cryptocurrency better than fiat? Programmable money. I, I mean, like the, all, all. I can. We could go all night. In this right, right. Yeah, it's short wide. though. I like that. Yeah, exactly. Short. I mean, for me, really, like I, I'm like a geek, right? Right, exactly. Like, like, programmable I, music. That's like the awesome well, part about the internet well, for some people. Like MP3, this, this money's song, dot BTC. This, this song will be on another Ethereum application where I'm gonna pay all. Have the Have you heard about Ujo Music? Yes, that's what yeah. I'm, that was just on the Bitcoin podcast. There, we just did an yeah, interview with them. Yeah, we're gonna try to load it in there and pay everybody accordingly. Intensely. Oh, they'll intensely. take care of that. That yeah, yeah that website's amazing. That's a yes. great pro uh, program. Yes, yes. So no, but let me wrap it up on 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 Swarm City, please. Um, 
now uh, um, with this with this application it gives the ability for people to to rent their space if they have a home a garage or building whatever oh wow okay you know um yes because it's the same is the same is the same application okay? right right i can see what you mean right there. now you could use it though right now right now right now america you could use this right now this is why i, I was happy though okay you can what is it um it's all working through facebook groups oh, okay so it's so, not an app yet it's not an app yet okay so they building it but tell me of one company that has customers and employees before they even have a working company Right. Yeah. So this is what Swarm City has. Understand, guys. They move people in over six hundred city around the globe. That's amazing. Just through Facebook groups. Okay. That's powerful. That and, shows and, you how and powerful look, they are. And look, I want to finalize eventually with a rant against all the maximalists, Bitcoin maximalists, Ethereum maximalists, Steam. Steam, steam, and maximalist, whatever maximalist, because that's just, that's just close-minded, you know. Yeah, there are a lot of scams in crypto, and you gotta be careful. But the reality is, like all this stuff, you gotta give it time to be developed. Mm -hmm. So, like uh, in in the Swarm City uh, case, the there was a token sell. There was an, a legal issue that is explained in this letter, um, is explained briefly in this letter uh, uh, on, on why they had to change the name. Um, but um, basically, all the information is there for you to go ahead and start producing some money today. All right. Yes. So, all right, guys, if you want to start you know, working for yourself, Peer to peer, uh, sounds like Swarm dot City is the way to go, there dude. Go. Thank you for uh, stopping by, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It's been an amazing show. Thank you. Thank no you. problem, man. Thank you, and I can I can wait to see you again. Yeah, definitely. Open door scenario. I mean, it's yes. closed at the moment, but I mean, you know, yes. just not going out. Come on we, in. We're definitely gonna use this show. I want this show on the video. Yeah, and uh, stay tuned. At the end of the video, we're gonna try to play uh, his song. So um, stay tuned for that, and uh, everybody have a day. Peace. Brother, that was awesome. Flo. Uh, la yeah. firma live. No me hable a mí de billete imprimido en papeleta. La firma live. La firma live. Mírame con los bitcoins, vámonos en bitcoins. Mírame con los bitcoins, vámonos en bitcoins. Girl. 